don't. Hey, partner. Hear that other kid got a stack stolen? <laughs> Boss ain't gonna like that. Man, this place goes sir. from bad. All right. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> How are you? Hello. Hey, yeah, Sheriff. Girl. Hello there. There. Greetings. Love this place. Uh huh. Go ahead. My daddy thought this business would go to hell when the war ended. Fifty years later, look at it. Still standing. Well, all right. This will be here when you need it. Keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Great. Thanks. You're real proud of that thing, huh? <laughs> Hope you're all doing all right. Greetings. How you doing? Hey, partner. <laughs> I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> No business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. Oh, mercy. It's good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? You know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, oh it's legal. I mean, usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What do you do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Ha! What are you waiting for? Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of 
someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. That folk won't be around for long. Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. You hit up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk? No. Not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay. Thank you. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the horses and then wait here. And grab him if he tries running. Easy enough. Should be. Seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s -s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up!
for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. Hey, how you buried, sir? Hey, quiet now. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Ready, boy?
Evening. Evening, sir. Good seeing you, partner. Yep. I'll be with you momentarily. Small something to do. Oh, good. You have a good evening. So long. Have a blessed evening. Hello, ladies. Good evening. Hello. Looking for a trim? Hello, sir. Hey, mister. That's a clue. Let's get started. Hi, fellas. Excuse me, sure you can keep up? Okay, man. This town's okay. You ever play this before, friend? I sure don't feel the weight of the day lifting off my shoulder. Hello, miss. Hola. Cool. Hello. I check. No. I think my suppliers are cramming all the time. Sometimes I let my workers beat me. Good for morale. Mister. You know, mine is stupid as you. All right then. I can raise that. Yep. Howdy. How are things? I'm a fool. Sure. <laughs> 
Oh, nothing I can't absorb. That's how it goes. Huh. It's a start. There's something at least. More hot air. Clean to see that's bluffing. Oh, man. Rats. Not for me. Uh. Woo! Uh huh. I earned it. What did I do to deserve if you'll excuse this? Me. Good game. See you later. the kind of money to lose like that. That's excellent. Head on over and someone will assist you. Can I get a room? It's all yours. I'll Enjoy. Turn right there. Fellers? Letting me take over here. Um, okay. Good. Now relax. Hope I'm not scrubbing too hard. You'll be clean as a whistle. All going well, huh? I'm good, thank you. I could just soak down into this tub. Oh no, really? It's a fine business you're running here. Absolutely. You got a, uh, a real gift for this. Oh, gosh, that really means a lot. I'm so dirty, I might need two of these baths. Oh, <laughs> this is so unprofessional. I'm sorry. You, uh, got any hobbies or anything? Free time, let's see. <laughs> Hard to say since I don't get a lot of it around here. Just let yourself unwind. Don't think I can stay in here much longer. It was lovely getting to know you. Can I interest you in any food or drink? Uh, we've got quite a selection. Hello. Did you hear? That boy Joshua got some poor girl from Sunday. Who's this then? Oh, hey, new century, old century. It's all the same to me. That's so. Hello.
Partner? Let's see your bet. How about we drag this toughest farmer by goddamn rope? People can be a little high strung in black water. That's why they need a place like this. Gentlemen? Hey. Thanks, partner. How's it treating you? Will you move? Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Hello there. Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Let's go, boy. Mister? Hey there. Howdy. Howdy, mister. How you holding up? enough feller I could interest you in bounty work the posters on the wall might take a look it's a sorry situation with them mongrel dogs the Skinner brothers just when you thought this country had been civilized. You hear what they done up near tall trees? Might be where to look for them, if you can stomach it. I don't think you'll be bringing him in alive, but sure as hell I'd love to spit in his eye before he hung. The mountain country's full of Skinner brothers. You tell me why this one, Elias Green's got a warrant on him. I'd send you after every last one of them jackals if I could. Reason this one's got his picture up is the mayor signed off on it. That's that. Say hello to that no good from me. Hey! 
Hey there, miss. Hello. Hello? You look hungry. Man, what'd you get yourself into? friend. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid, I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. <laughs> you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, 
sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's uh, slow and... Painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> don't make you seem interesting, it makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, on a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. This is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tail. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot.
Jesus, who do a thing like this? Not here. Shit. Uh, 
Seems I caught me a wriggler. I'll cut you. I swear I will. Let's get you up. I'm gonna bite you. You better, damn not. That was a nice hat you was wearing. I'll make you into a hat, mister. I would love to see you try. I'm gonna take this headpiece for myself. That's mine, mister. And you belong to me. So I guess that makes it okay. Now stay there! There you go. Now let's get you to Blackwater. How you feeling up there? It ain't a smart man. Turns his back on me. I'm gonna kill you. I could cut you any time, mister. Pain, mister? Real pain? Screaming, crying, begging pain? I will put you to a fire. Have you praying for your death? Eyes all white, mouth quivering. I get you. You're gonna suffer, mister. Get you inside. God damn it! I'll bite you! Yeah, yeah. Well, got you that skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down. Elias Green is a living breeze. God damn it. Put him in a sail. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up.
That man ain't worth spit. But here's what we're paying for him. You don't mean that, do you, Chief? It's only fair. You're making an old Chief's life a little easier, you know? How about coming back in a while, picking up another poster? You want to hear about the murder? All the folks I killed? How they scream, Chief? You're dead, Green. But there's ways I can make this worse on you. Sweating buckets. <laughs> 